Hey guys, this is my beginner scripting tutorial episode 2. Uh, I seem to be a cloud today, but this is just about scripts, so I won't let that slow me down. Now in episode 1, you saw me make a simple switch inside this cube. Let me open up that same script again. And if you haven't seen episode 1, you can find it uh, on my channel. And all it does is allow you to click this cube and switch it on and off and it changes colour. So I'm going to continue using this same object for now just so you get an idea about uh, where other events can go and uh, and how you can build on top of these scripts and uh, give them more complicated behaviours. So I'll leave the switch where it is. And the first thing I want to talk about today is uh, some more variable types. Um, I'm going to use the string variable type and I'm going to say for this string on text. Now a string contains text such as here where we say LL owner say on when you switch the box on and here where we say off. This is called a string and it's enclosed in double quotes. So if I wanted, instead of typing on directly here, I can set up a string variable called onText and another string variable called offText. And under my state entry, and if you remember from episode 1, I told you that any code inside here is executed when you first save the script, or whenever you reset a script. So we can set up what we want our on and off text variables to be at the beginning of the script. So here I will go on text equals on and finish that with a semicolon and off text equals off. So now we've assigned these text strings to our string variables and we can replace this bit of text down here with the name of that variable and it will reference this text. So in here I will put on text and in here off text. Now if I save that You'll see it behaves just as before. On, off, on, off. Okay, so what else can we do? Let's add another event. Let's try a collision event. These are always quite useful. They're often used for uh, giving out landmarks when people arrive at your land or used as visitor trackers or stuff like that. Um, so, we'll go with collision start. Now, much like touch start is an event that's triggered when you start touching a box, collision start is an event that's triggered when you start colliding with your box, in this case. And, oh yeah, something else I wanted to mention. Any time you can't remember, say, what's supposed to go in here, if you just mouse over a function, it will pop up a little helper. It says here, collision start has integer num detected. So let's put that in. And you don't have to call it num detected. I usually just go with num. And that means whenever objects start colliding with this prim or avatars, uh, this will contain the number of objects that are colliding with it. Now we can also use this as a reference point, but I won't get into that just yet. For now, I'll just do a simple collision start and we'll use LL owner say. Ouch. And there's another thing I'm going to do here, which is purely a personal preference. When I lay out my scripts, I like to make sure each event 
is separated a little as it can help you, especially as scripts get longer, it helps you separate out the different sections and uh, and see more clearly where you're scrolling to and I'll usually do something like this, these are just used to comment out uh, a section of writing, so if I wanted to just put a note about what something does as long as I put two forward slashes in front of it then this will be completely ignored by the script and I can write anything in here that I like so here I'm just using it literally to give a little bit of separation between events and if there's something that I'd like to particularly highlight like say if I have a lot of functions up above where the start script is or the start of the script actually is I'll usually do something like that so it stands out a bit more as I'm scrolling and it just keeps things neat and tidy it's very important to keep your scripts neat and tidy and uh, like you see here where I'm separating it out using the tab key making sure everything is neatly structured so you can clearly see where a section starts, where it ends and where the uh, events start and where they end and so on, all nicely lined up. Uh, this is very important, you'll, you'll quite often open freebie scripts and you'll find they're all over the place and, and they still work but to a beginner's eyes it looks ridiculously complicated and it really doesn't need to look as complicated as it does as long as you keep things lined up properly. So let's just save that now and I'll make this cube a little bit bigger. And move the script over. Now you can't see my avatar but I'm there so as I walk into this it says ouch. As soon as the collision happens, because I'm a physical object, avatars are considered to be physical, as in they react with the physics system of Second Life, the collision start event is triggered. So this is a very simple example, and what I want to talk to you a little bit about now is the structure of the script. I've just talked about lining it up so you can clearly see what's going on, but I also want to point out that putting state entry here, touch start event here and collision start event here isn't actually necessary. If I take this and put it up here and take this and put it down here and save it the script still works in exactly the same way as before. There is no predefined way you have to line these events up. And just as I was saying a moment ago about the structure, similarly if I oops, if I move all of this up onto just a few lines. Now straight away you can see this is much more difficult to read, but again, if I save it, everything still works. So this aspect of scripting is entirely up to you, you'll develop your own methods as you become more and more familiar with it, and the positions you like to put uh, events into and the way you like to line up your code to make it easier to read is really entirely up to you but it's a very good idea right from the start to line it up in a way that makes sense and makes it easier for you to find what you, where you need to get and read what you've done. Uh, for example the state entry obviously it's the first thing that happens so it's a very good idea to put it at the top but there's another event called on res which is only triggered whenever you res an object out. Uh, so that could be if you res it from your inventory and put it onto the floor, or if, say, it was a bullet and you resed it from inside of a gun, the on res event will be triggered. So quite often, I'll put 
put something like this at the beginning of the script, ll reset script, and that means that whenever an object is first resed out, it will reset the script and forget everything that was happening before. My point is that I always put on res at the beginning of the script and state entry because that just makes sense. It's some of the first things that happen under certain conditions. The rest is entirely up to you. So, I think I've covered everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, I'll go a little more into the collision event in the next video because there's things we can do with this number integer here which is a bit beyond the scope of this second